Hey guys, so a lot of you will be going to pre-release tonight and I will be going as well. Uh, Amy will be going and it's going to be a ton of fun. So today I want to talk about the mythic to look for, the rare to look for, and the uncommon to look for to trade into. So most of the times I say, hey, you know, just wait, just wait, prices will go down. I believe these prices will go down quite a bit. But when you're trading pre-release cards for pre-release cards, which is the typical trade that happens, then it's better to have these cards at the end of the night than pretty much anything else. So we will start with Heart of Karen. It is the most expensive card in the set at $21. I expect it to be very good, especially now that Smuggler's Copter is not here. Uh, it really depends on the last ability with the Loyalty and the Planeswalker. Still the most expensive card at $21 to $22 at this current time. Yes, I can see it going down to $15 or $12, but in terms of playability, in terms of what cards you want to leave with, this is definitely one of them. So if you can trade your pre-release cards for a Heart of Kinrin, probably a good trade. For rare, I'm going to target Barrel Chief of Compliance. It is a five and six, five to six dollar rare. Um, it is very good, very cheap, very affordable. And if you can trade into him from whatever whatever else you pulled, again, likely ninety five to ninety nine percent of the cards will go down in price. But I like him because he has utility. He has use. Now my number one pickup for the night will be Fatal Push. This is pushing on $5. $5 for an uncommon that's going to be pulled all over the place. A lot of players who play pre-release do not do not play standard. They don't play modern. They just like pre-release and ED8s, and they're very casual. And when you look at the player base who, at least in my locals, who go to pre-release, it's people who you don't see until the next pre-release or previous pre-release. So Fatal Push Definitely one to keep your eyes out for. It's a five dollar uncommon. It's been some time since we had a valuable uncommon like this one, uh, which pushed on five dollars. Uh, I can't remember the last time we had a five dollar uncommon. Maybe it was Dismember, and Black seems to get really good uncommons. Anyway, these are the free cards that I would suggest you look for, and they. Uh, now, if you can trade your pre-release cards into these cards, that's probably not a bad. Um, so that's probably not going to be bad, but if you have these cards, I would say it's okay to hold on to them. Ideally, you could trade any of your pre-release cards for Fetch Lands, but that's ideally, that's Christmas Land, right? So I like these cards. Are there any cards that you think I missed? Again, I picked the best Mythic that I thought would hold its value and have you know trading potential. I picked the best Rare, and I picked the best Uncommon. The uncommon fatal push is the one I would target heavily just because so much of it will be opened. There will be so many. If you can get a foil copy of fatal push, that's a, that's a winner in my book because I don't feel like, yes, it might drop off a little bit, but it's significantly better than the next best foil in this set. Anyway, bye guys.